Salutations, folks. I'm Ruben. I'm Fuchtel. Welcome back to our channel, Arna Vision. And this time we are recapping and debating the exclusive first look event of the shareholders by Marvel and Disney Plus. So, uh, we saw some trailers. Uh, and now we're gonna talk about the stuff that we didn't have anything to let you see a video of. So yeah. get, you're gonna see our beautiful faces talking this time. <laughs> okay, so yes. first, uh, they announced about Marvel, Disney, um, Star Wars, Pixar, and all about uh, their content. Yeah. Um, the first thing that is not a trailer trailer that we're really glad they announced is the uh, Ahsoka Tano series first okay. because I really like the the character I like it in the Clone Wars and Rebels for and the people like me that have no idea who is the character let me have you, a little you tell little me you saw the, the Clone Wars uh, series yeah um, but she's really big, uh, big character the, the one with the the, the orange face okay 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 so uh, yeah. yeah. So okay, that one I know. Okay. Yeah. So so she also appeared in the last uh, episode, episode five of Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. uh, she played by um, her, what's his name? Mm, she played in Daredevil. Uh, again. Electra. No, 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 no. The the, uh, the actress play in Daredevil the the series in Netflix. Yeah, uh, she played Electra. No, 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 not Electra. The okay. um, the nurse. Ah, ah Rosario Dawson. Rosario Dawson. Uh, Ahsoka Tano, and again, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Ahsoka Tano, played by Rosario Dawson in the Mandalorian series in the episode 5. And I really like her approach of the character and what she brings. She was really badass. So I really like they're gonna have. They let her her own series and see her in in an, in an own adventures uh, in the future of Star Wars. So that's the first uh, I really like. So what is your most anticipated content in this uh, event? Okay, uh, after we saw the event, I came to a conclusion that the first thing I want to talk about is the thing that I have the least idea what they're gonna do with it. And that's Moon Knight. Okay. Uh, Moon Knight is a very dear character for me. Okay. Um, he's mm -hmm. Jewish. He's got uh, uh, DID, which is dissociative mm -hmm. uh, uh, identity disorder, um, and he's portrayed as a good character, which is something that is not common. Basically. One of the rarest forms of uh, approaches is a positive one towards DID. It's a thing that is uh, very, very persecuted and mm -hmm. a lot of people don't believe it's something that is real. And when you get a mm -hmm. real approach to it, you get a demonizing approach to it, like we saw in the movie Split. Yeah, but uh, uh, on contrary to your uh, subject, uh, on your answer, uh, I think they really uh, as a good character uh, with the uh, DID, uh, like in the uh, Doom Patrol series. Ah, yeah, Doom Patrol. Uh, they nailed she's really a, a ah, good character. The character of Jane and uh, and her complex system uh, is a, is the first positive portrayal of DID I came across in media mm -hmm. well ever ever yeah so um, getting a Moon Knight will Moon Knight movie Moon Knight series I don't care just give me something it's series it's a series it's a series give me a series on Moon Knight give me something positive to look up to give people who have something that they can't really let people know let them have something that they can uh, use to deal with it mm -hmm. i i think that really caught my eye that we know almost nothing about it 
and um, I'm really anticipating something. Something. Give me something so I'll know it's in the near future. It's in the near future and they are working at it, but it's in the first terms of the production, the first uh, pre-production. So It's not the first time they uh, they hinted about it. It's no, no, no. But it's they the first announced time it, they no. announced it. No, 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 publicly. no, no, no. They announced it like like it, like last year, but yeah. now they they didn't uh, they again didn't they give didn't any give any information. Any information. There they are rumors. There are rumors about um, uh, um, Isaac. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it, it, maybe he's gonna portray the uh, the character, mm -hmm. but it still is not confirmed. So we can talk about that because we don't know again. But maybe. Um, but I hope in the few in the near yeah. future they will give us more information. So the second topic uh, I really uh, liked uh, about the announce in the announcements was that Hayden Christensen gonna uh, replace his role as Dark Vader in the Obi One series. Mm -hmm. um, I really like in, in the I, re, I don't really like the prequels as much, but uh, I re, I like the dynamic between uh, Hayden uh, and um, uh, Obi Wan. Uh, the name again? Uh, you and you McGregor. you and McGregor. Yeah, I really like the, the Hello dynamic there. together. They're really so cool. I'm really glad he's coming back. Uh, but again, I don't know how big of a role is gonna uh, be. And again, if he's like Vader right now, so. We gonna see his face. We don't gonna see his face. He, uh, we we gonna hear only his voice, or he's gonna be uh, James R. Jones uh, um, voiced again, Dark Vader, with the helmet. So I don't know. Uh, we don't know yet. So how a big of a role is gonna be? But I'm really glad uh, he's coming back. What is your second? Uh, uh, oh, what do you thought I, about I, that? Or I, I, I just wanna say. Um, you remember that bath scene in in Rogue One? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm thinking more like that. No, in Rogue sort of One, uh, in Rogue One, James Earl Jones uh, um, voiced uh, Darth Vader. No, he voiced him. Yeah, and but this time, I think we're gonna see a lot more Darth Vader charcoal body bath scenes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think maybe it's, I, what I think is gonna uh, uh, take off his helmet, maybe. One, it, at least at once least an once. episode, so we will get. No, paid. not one. I don't think it's gonna be a big role because then is contradict what's happened in the original series. Like in New Hope, uh, Obi Wan said he didn't he didn't met him uh, from the from the Battle of Mustafar. All right. Uh, so uh, maybe gonna do something not to contr uh, contradict that, but I don't think he's gonna have a major. A big role, like every episode, you're gonna see a Dark Vader. So maybe he will portray himself as Darth Vader or as Anakin in like a memory or something. Maybe a flashback, like but several flashbacks. Maybe or, or we. I maybe think we got a see... very special episode of Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I think I it's remember gonna... murdering my best friend. <laughs> you are dark. I am. Uh, Join us. We have cookies yeah. and black coffee. Black is my soul. <laughs> uh, and again, uh, I don't think you're gonna have a big role, but uh, I think gonna have a few, uh, maybe one, two episode, also in the present of the mm. series. Huh? Okay, that's the. Yeah, so well, yeah, my turn. Your turn. My yeah. Turn. What is my the turn. third? Uh, my second. Your second? Ah, oh, okay. yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Your you, second. We <laughs> took our sweet time with yours, my dear. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what is your second? My second point of addressing is Dog Days. They're gonna release a few uh, episodes um, of uh, the dog from the movie Up. And I love dogs. And Dog is a talking dog for people who haven't seen the movie because he's got a color that l allows him to talk and we're gonna see it from his perspective and I really think we need some good things this year I mean 2020 was awful 2021 needs to be better so if we got a few talking dog episodes <laughs> of a charming dog uh, just 
I don't know. I, I have no idea what they're gonna do with the series, but it's gonna be with the original cast. So I'm extremely looking forward to that one. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit is a good choice. That's gonna be cute. <laughs> it's gonna be cute. adorable. <laughs> I'm gonna be adorable while I'm seeing it. You gonna drool rainbows while seeing it. Everybody's gonna drool rainbows while seeing it. <laughs> Next up, yours. So, uh, my last pick, uh, the third pick, is the Buzz Lightyear show. Oh, yeah. Uh, because I really like uh, the concept of to see who was the real Buzz Lightyear and see his adventure uh, that uh, the, based on the, the, the toy. Um, so, it's voiced by Chris Evans, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Captain America is gonna be Buzz Lightyear! Uh, there is some uh, co- uh, this a, a real good pick, but also um, maybe controversial because Tim oh, Allen is the real voice of Buzz Lightyear, and why you don't give him a, the to take the role again? Because he's the, um, the original you... voice and is loved by anyone. Okay, um, not taking his thunder or anything, but um, considering the point, uh, this is gonna be the real Buzz Lightyear. Uh, the real Buzz Lightyear, so, okay. the one that the toy was based upon, so they can't really have the same voice. I mean, they I, can I don't have know, the same voice, again, but they don't, don't have know to have in the same voice. Their world, the, the Toy Story world, there was a really personal Buzz Lightyear, or it's just like it was a show that uh, gives the inspiration for the toy. So we don't know, because if it was a really a real person in their world, so I, why they will give... A... As a person who really likes Kingdom Hearts, let me tell you. <laughs> okay. If there is a Toy Story story, and there is a universe of Pixar movies, then there is a Buzz Lightyear. So he doesn't have to have the same voice as the two. I think going to be uh, Chris Evans going to have uh, going to ha- be great in this uh, character. He's uh, going to be awesome. I'm so. extremely looking forward to that as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, you stole my point, by the way. I want to talk about that. You stole so, it from me. So you need to pick another. Yeah, I'm going to take another one. But uh, before that, yeah, Chris Evans is going to kick mm-hmm. and take. Because we can't swear, because you told me not to. <laughs> swear, I will censor it. Okay, he's gonna kick ass and take names. And I'm actually very looking forward to that one. Um, mm-hmm. Seeing one of the. Well, I, I, when I was younger, I saw the TV show of Buzz Lightyear. And mm, seeing, I didn't like it. Uh, yeah, same. It was fine but it wasn't like a masterpiece and having a movie about it that's awesome mm-hmm. that's awesome i and don't care I if saw a picture, doesn't do it. they uh, they saw a pic uh, they uh, give us a picture still from the show and the animation looks amazing it's re- it looks really really real <laughs> it's, it's, uh, there was, there's a big gap between the 95 Toy yeah. Story animation that I that I didn't was real I didn't uh, well, it, I, did, it I was wasn't it? a fan of okay. that animation and this animation that looked amazing well golly <laughs> thank you Captain Obvious <laughs> of course we I don't I know <laughs> there is a, a oh, no my dear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're getting, what is your, uh, getting last, back to uh, my third and last installment yeah. of this mm-hmm. section. So, for my third and last point, um, I'm, I want to talk about Secret Invasion. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a really cool concept. I, don't re- I didn't read the comics, but I know what it's about, so, so I'm really I, excited about I, that. I read yeah. the comics, and basically uh, everything that happened in Captain Marvel changed the entire plot line uh, that I mm-hmm. was thinking I'm gonna see in Secret Invasion. Okay. Secret Invasion basically tells the story of how the scrolls uh, infiltrated Earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And started uh, taking spoilers if you haven't read it, but it's like twenty years old. 
um, he started uh, taking um, superheroes yeah, and replace them. Yeah, and replace them. them. Yeah. And basically, uh, pop repopulate the earth in their image mm -hmm. and eventually the heroes start to find out and kick their ass and all that and this time i don't think we can have that as an issue because in captain marvel we discovered the scrolls earlier and they're friendly but maybe there is another group of scrolls that are evil or want to uh, replace the, their planet with earth and we're gonna maybe uh, try to conquer our so people. a second wave but we are already befriending them in the 90s and right now we're working with them yeah but maybe we saw only a small group of scrolls we we, we didn't saw a whole uh, all uh, uh, um, planet of scrolls uh, the entire thing was the establishing the point of the scrolls as aggressors as um, basically how um, people demonize immigrants people who are hostile and having a hostile take over your planet from the inside how and when you uh, are none the wiser mm -hmm. and this time that's not an option this time we already know they are uh, alive like like i said before so the comics is never the movies never like the comics exactly like civil war like uh, even yeah, I, the I'm infinity war i just have no clue on what to hang on to with uh, it I so trust i'm excited gonna gonna found a really good plot uh, for this series we know the cast no 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 this we know new, nothing nothing right? that's only that was only announced in this survey we got absolutely nothing and i'm already excited so they done something right with yeah that. yeah Okay, guys, so that's all. That are three uh, most uh, uh, anticipated shows and movies that we really liked from the announcements. Uh, so, again, what do you thought about uh, the announcements and which was your favorite? Please uh, have the comment below. And, again, if you really like our channel, please subscribe, hit a like. And if you really, really, really like us and you like what we are doing here, hit the notification bell. And you will see us, guys, next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.